the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of God our Father, who raised Jesus from the dead, be with you always, and also with you. Let us pray. Almighty God and most merciful Father, we come before you this day in grateful remembrance of those who died for our freedom. We recall those, both known and unknown to us, who gave their lives in the cause of freedom from oppression, tyranny, and sin. Those who gave their lives in the Great War, as well as in the many wars, conflicts, campaigns, and troubles since. We commit them and ourselves into your hands, as into the hands of a loving Father. We ask your help as we recommit ourselves this day to that same struggle against evil, tyranny, and sin. And we ask for your blessing upon our labors. Amen. In a moment of silence and reflection, let us call to mind our own sins to Almighty God, that we may receive his forgiveness and grace, that through his Son, Jesus Christ, we may give ourselves anew to his service. Lord God, we have sinned against you, we have done evil in your sight, we are sorry and repent. Have mercy on us according to your love, wash away our wrongdoing and cleanse us from our sin. Renew a right spirit within us and restore us to the joy of your salvation. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus Christ, you are the mighty God and Prince of Peace. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus Christ, you raise the dead to new life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the Father of all mercies cleanse us from our sins and restore us in his image and glory of his name. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.
may I speak in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the Church's calendar, this time is often referred to as the season of remembrance. On the 1st of November, All Saints Day, we gave thanks for those who have enlivened and inspired our faith. Then on the 2nd of November, we remembered all those who have touched our lives and gone before us, All Souls Day. Last Sunday was Remembrance Sunday, and today, Armistice Day. On both occasions, we remember the service and sacrifice of the armed forces from Britain and the Commonwealth. The Royal British Legion have offered some thoughts for us to share on this Armistice Day, 11th of November 2020. Why do we remember? It is a chance for us as individuals, communities and the nation to give thanks and honour those who serve and sacrifice to defend our nation and our way of life, who gave their today for our tomorrow. It is also an opportunity to bring communities together across Britain, irrespective of religion, race or ethnicity, who share a history of service and sacrifice from the two world wars through to the present day. To understand modern Britain is to understand that it was built upon the service and sacrifice of millions of men and women from Britain and the Commonwealth during the two great wars and in the rebuilding of the nation after them. The act of remembering reminds us that we must all continue to strive for a better and more peaceful future. How we talk about remembrance this year in 2020 has also changed. Reflecting not only on how millions of British and Commonwealth men and women whose service and sacrifice secured peace and freedom 75 years ago, but also about the service and sacrifice of so many today in protecting our nation from COVID-19. Although the causes are very different, there are similarities in feelings, emotions and experiences of then and now. Our feelings today, for example, of family separation, a feeling of the unknown and what comes next, and a desire to come together to support one another. The Christian faith also has a strong tradition of remembering. As Jesus approached his own death, we're told that he shared a simple meal with his friends. He urged them and us to remember him every time we break bread and drink together. He knew he was going to die, but he wanted to tell his friends and us, that he would never leave them or us. An act of remembrance that associated with life and all that lies ahead, not simply what lies behind us. An act that recalls what has been, what is present with us now, and what is to come. Hope. Scripture tells us that those who believe in him may have eternal life. As we approach the dark winter months, may we do so with that strong sense of hope in the knowledge of God's unconditional love, comfort and peace for us all. Amen. Let us remember before God and commend to his sure keeping those who have died for their country in war, those whom we knew, those whose memory we treasure, and all who have lived and died in the 
service of humankind. They should grow not old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them. Uh. Let us pledge ourselves anew to the service of God and all humankind, that we may help encourage and comfort others and support those working for the relief of the needy and for the peace and welfare of the nations of the earth. Lord God our Father, we pledge ourselves to serve you and all people in the cause of peace for the relief of want and suffering and for the praise of your name.
Guide us by your Spirit. Give us wisdom. Give us courage. Give us hope. And keep us faithful now and always. Amen. souls of the righteous are in the hands of God, where torment shall not reach them. Rest eternal grant unto them, O Lord, and let life perpetual shine upon them. Thank you for joining us 
in our benefice the service of remembrance. On this, the Armistice Day, the 11th of November, 2020. Go safely and